Good morning, Ljubljana. Hello, guys. I'm right here in the capital of Slovenia. It is the country's cultural, political, educational, and administrative center. The dragon is the symbol of Ljubljana, which has been proudly reigning in the city's coat of arms since the late Middle Ages. It is magnificently designed and built in 1901. And to most Slovenians, if you haven't taken picture of this monument here, that means you haven't really visited Ljubljana. So it is regarded as the symbol of the city. It is kind of scary and magnificent at the same time. So I'm walking you down to my next destination and also at the same time allowing you to see through my eyes the beauty of the city and places you can be able to hang out like bars, restaurants and also hope to also run into to some locals that can share more of their city with us. Hello. <laughs> nice. You can also have a boat cruise. We shall help you to see the city from another perspective and also take great pictures. Our next stop is the Triple Bridge. There we go. This is the art of the historic center of Ljubljana, which has three bridges that are also the work of the famous architect Jose Plez Pleznit. That is the name. The name is difficult for me to pronounce. I hope I pronounce it very well. If I'm with my drone, you would have seen it more beautiful. It's, there are three bridges here. This is one over there, one, two, and three. With a view from the top, with my drone, it would be excellent. So guys, be patient. Now I'm kind of going around. And in the future, I'm going to introduce my drone. A lot of drone videos are going to come in the future. It is kind of little rain. It's raining a little. Cloudy. This is the town hall, the seat of the municipality of Ljubljana. It's an exceptional barrack palace with Venetian influence. In front of the town hall, there is the famous fountain by Francisco Ruba. It is designed in style of the most beautiful Roman baroque fountains. And in every Saturday, you can also have a guide that can take you to visit the town hall and its premises, and which has been operating for almost 500 years. So if you're around here in the weekend, if you're interested, to learn more about the city's history, you can be able to have a guide. The central market, it is the main place where the locals shop and also meet and socialize. So this market is also designed by the famous architect. Jose Plesnitz, the name is difficult for me to pronounce. 
So this is where the locals always meet and also socialize the same time do their shopping. I think this is Oni. This is Oni? Yes. Oh. And in the bottles it's honey liqueur. Honey and brandy. Honey and brandy. Would oh. you like to try? So she's is Oni and what? Brandy. Brandy. Snaps. Okay, let's try. It's good. Thank you. Good. And I think it it looks like even medicinal. Yeah, it's good for if you have by throat or in general because it's a lot of honey. Mmm. Man, I would have bought this if I'm like, yeah. Oh, and it's burning inside in me. Mm -hmm. oh. This is a typical winter drink. Okay, can, uh, can, I, can I throw it off? Somewhere? Yes, yes, yes. It is a typical uh, Slovenian drink. Yes. Ooh, so what can you share with me? Because I'm coming to um promote your city uh, to share the beauty of your city your mm -hmm. culture your tradition mm -hmm. with my subscribers and viewers all around the world so what mm -hmm. can you share about Ljubljana or this place share with about your business first uh, then uh, Ljubljana in some second it's very famous for beekeeping okay because we brought a special kind of bee called uh, bee cardiolica it's a very good one mm. later i was taking around this um all europe yes and it's we have our, also the beekeeping was, is our um, last year was recognized as uh, Slovenia heritage. Okay. And it's under UNESCO, and we have um, the most beekeepers per capita. Oh. So, yes. So this is um, very big tradition in Slovenia. So this is a tr big tradition in yes. Slovenia. Mm -hmm. For how long, if you can remember? For centuries. Centuries. Mm -hmm. Come and patronize her. It's cool, it's cool. Maybe next time when I'm traveling with a big bag, if I come around Ljubljana, I will buy some. So it normally opens from mid-March to mid-October, right? Yes, till the end of October. To the end of uh, October. Mid-March to the end of October. Uh, also in December. Also in December. We have a December market here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can buy some honey, some honey. And oh. we also have our own store. Your, at home. At yes. home, okay. Yes. Name, what is the name of your street? Uh, your shop. Yes. Okay, this is where our shop is, guys. You can go on Patronizer. We also have an online store. Online store also. So, yes. the same with the... Uh, yes, this. Yes, so the online store is also noted where the address is. Fe Medica. Yes. I told you, it's so like... Medi Medica is the name of Honey Oh, me, me, Medica. Medica is the name of honey? Honey liqueur in Slovenia. Oh. How do we call it? Okay. Because honey is made, then drink from this is Medica. Okay. Oh, thank you for sharing. We have learned something. <laughs> thank bye you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. So, it is cool. It is awesome. You can buy a lot of souvenirs as well. Look at great designs here. Wow. So it is also where you can meet with the locals and socialize. At the same time, do your shopping if you want to buy some interesting things. I think this is almost everything you can get in this place. Not think almost everything you can get in this place. And I want to try some local food. So, hello. Excuse me. Yes. Is this where I can be able? I can get some local food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the place. Yeah. This is the place. Yeah. Okay. Let me. You can sit wherever you like to sit. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So let's go around and uh, after I'm after I'm going to sit down somewhere to eat to share with you the local food of Slovenia. How delicious it may be.
Hallo. Uh, after. It is a pity today is raining, so there are places for clothes and other materials. You can also and other products you can also get in those area, flowers and all. It's raining today, so hey, I just have to make the best out of it to share with you the best I can possible share. It is not the best weather for this, but my time is limited and also the hot coming days is going to be even raining again. So it is better I do it anyhow now because I don't know if the upcoming days will be even more worse. So we are going to the castle, which is the major attraction in the city. Because from hop from the castle, you can see the whole of the city. And this castle, I guess, I've been there for about 500, uh, 900 years, not 500. You can walk to the castle whenever I have the opportunity to do some sport. I take it with open heart, with the whole of my heart, because of my travels, my schedules, it affects my routine, my daily routines, and also my training programs. So whenever I find the opportunity to do sport like this, I just take it with the whole of my heart. So let's keep on marching, climbing the hill. Whoa. I think I met some Italians. They told me it is about 20 minutes to 30 minutes climb or 15 minutes. That is what they told me, the young girls. Oh, it's not easy. I am almost there. Yeah. This is the castle. I am almost there. The castle. Oh, you are coming here, Hasso? Yeah. Where are you from? Finland. Finland? Oh! Yeah. I was in your country. Oh, when? A uh, few months ago. A few months ago. Yeah, I was in... Uh, would you mind to be in the camera? Oh, well, no. Okay. So, uh, I was in Hamelina. Yeah. Uh, oh, what is this other beautiful place I love? Is it, I had the sea or... No, not the sea. City. Oh! I almost... Be, um, Hamelina. Yeah. Helsinki. Turku? No, Turku. No. Before Turku. The second big, biggest city. I uh, think it's considered even the most beautiful. Tampere. Tampere. Yeah. Tampere was beautiful. I had a lot of uh, uh, great time, great contents over there. So are it you was going nice. around Europe? Or? Yes, everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. I'm just exploring, learning about everything. That's nice. <laughs> everything I can possible see. And it's interesting. How long have you been here? One week. One week? Yeah. Oh, you enjoying it here? Yes, yes. And I'm you, leaving tomorrow. You're leaving tomorrow? Yes. Where are you going? Finland back. Uh, you go back home? Back home, yes. Okay, Wh what is the name of your city? Turku. Turku, okay. Yeah. I didn't visit Turku this time. Yeah. But I, maybe next time I will visit maybe. there. So what is your next country? Oh, I think after you I'm going to Croatia. Croatia, yeah. yeah. Then, I'll, then I go to... It will be even the most difficult trip because I'm going to take a bus yeah. from like Maribo, Maribo. to uh, Dubrovnik. It's like okay. almost half a day. Oh, that's long. So it's long. I don't know. I don't know. But I just, I, I was like a little bit skeptic, skeptical. Maybe I would have looked for train, but train would have been two days also. Two days. Uh, a full day. A train full is day. like a full day. Okay. So this is like almost half day or half day some hours not that bad yes yeah. so you're exploring together the yeah, why not? Oh, let's keep on turning around uh, yeah. 
So this castle, they said it has been here for like 900 years. Uh -huh. Yes. Quite long. Very long. Dishwasher. And it surprised me. Yeah. And there are great cafes and restaurants. Yeah. Ninth club, even ninth club in this place. Yeah, my too. So you can come with a funny cool. <laughs> yeah, railway. Or else you walk like us. At least it's not that too difficult. Let me say 15 minutes. Yeah. 15, 10 minutes. It's, it's not bad. Yeah. So where were you before Slovenia? Uh, I was from Austria. Austria, yeah. But anyway, I, was, I, I started my journey in this trip from Czech Republic, okay. Slovakia, oh. Austria, then now Slovenia. A lot of countries. Yeah. Oh. But I'm just starting because my mission is to visit every country. But that's quite a mission. Uh, yes, it's a yes. mission. Does it take like a few months or? To all the countries in the world? Oh, oh well. <laughs> no. Years. It will take years. Yeah. It will take years, no matter how fast it could be, yeah. it will still take years. Yes. Yes, because it takes a lot of resources, a lot of energy, and a money, lot of money. Mon yeah, that is the resources, money. Yeah. So, take a lot of time. Yeah. So, what to is your learn. favorite country? I think for now I prefer the Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe? Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, it's a beautiful song. Yeah, it's beautiful. And the people are chill. Yeah. So when I decide wo what country or what part is my favorite, it is not only about the beauty yeah. of the country, but I calculate, I look at the social aspect and many other the domains. Person. Yeah, the people, yeah. Have you been in Poland? Poland? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good. I've never been. It's good. You will, uh, will, you will enjoy it. I yes, it's good it. and it's beautiful. Yeah. Poland is beautiful. So I, ha I have to go there. I've never been. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It's beautiful. Only in Germany and Austria and once in Czech. Czech. Oh. But only in Prague. Nowhere else. So. Nice. So guys, you can take a great picture of the city from up of the castle. So we are still walking around the castle. I don't know if you can be able to go up hop up to even take more pictures or to share the view but it is not a, a great day to share this the city with you because uh, it is rainy and cloudy the you weather see so much. yeah you cannot see so much so if you come around if you're in Ljubljana in the moment when there is no rain no cloudy yeah. sunny great weather so what is your people like what country uh, what country I come yeah. from? I'm Nigeria. Nigeria? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You are doing some traveling... Vlogs. Vlogs. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Sometimes I even make interviews also. Ah. Yes. Very nice. Oh, you see, you can see, you can have a great view of the city, but it's a pity that uh, the weather is not that good. Look at it. From up of the castle, you can see the all of the city of Ljubljana. But it is raining, so it's not that interesting. You can see a lot. So, are you leaving uh, tomorrow? Uh, no, I will leave like in two days. Two days? Yes. Croatia. Yeah. No, no, I'm going to another city, Maribor. Uh, Maribor, okay. Yes. Then I think this is where you can come with the funicle. Yeah, yeah. Then you can walk that. Yes. Climb. That is the controller, uh, the man that is controlling the, f the funicle. Then you can come up. The main attraction of Ljubljana. So, what is your favorite city in Finland? Uh, yeah, it's Turku. Truku? Yes. Because it's your city. <laughs> yeah, but I've lived there like three years. Three years? Yeah, only. Okay, uh, so where are, we, are you from initially? Uh, Porvo. Porvo? Do you know it's next to Helsinki? Ah, okay. I'll show you a picture. It's small, but quite nice. Okay. 
Here is the, the old city. It's, it's, oh, okay. It's, it's really nice. Okay. And then there's those kind of house. Ah, okay. It's like a village or a town? Um, well, it's town. This it's a town, old yeah. Old town is a small one, but there's there's the sea and yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's small and nice. Yes. Uh, during the winter, it will be very very cold there. Can, can it be? Yes. It's not always that cold. Ah, like how many degrees? Uh, this year it was mostly like zero to minus ten mm. in south. On the north, it's, it's gonna be like minus thirty or like wow. every day. So it is cold. I will like freezing there. This is the castle. Look at it, guys. Hello. So, look at it. So, I think we can go up, or you have to pay. It. I think you have to pay to go, yeah, go up. I don't think it's worth it because you don't. <laughs> We cannot see anything yeah. because the weather is not good. Or if it's free, we can try. But if it's for pay, there is no need to go. Uh, I don't know. I think you have to pay. You can ask. Yeah. Hello? Uh, to enter is paid or free? It depends. You just want to see the courtyard and then Okay, you have to pay. Okay, we just want to visit around, not the museum. Uh -huh, okay, okay. Then you can enter. Okay. You can, you can. So if you just only want to walk around, yeah. take pictures, then it is free. That's nice. But if you want to visit the museums, yeah. then you have to uh, get yeah, you have to pay, get a ticket. Okay. It's interesting. People are watching your YouTube channel. You can see. I think my best video yeah. is about uh, almost one million. Uh -huh. That's a lot. So I think in total I have more than almost three million views okay. right now. Yeah. And I have That's almost people. yes. And I I have. Mm -hmm about uh, almost 20,000 subscribers right now. Yeah. So this is inside the castle, guys. The castle of Ljubljana. The main attraction of the city what can you say about the castle? Yeah, it's, it's nice, but I don't think it's the best one. Yes. Have you been in other castles in Yeah, I have been. Uh, no, this is my first one. Uh, yeah, there was, I was in the Red Yama Castle. Okay, so another city? Well, it's, it's a castle in the rocks. The rocks, okay. I can show you a picture if, if I can find it. It was more beautiful than this one? Yeah, but it was so small. Okay. Small one, so like this. Mm. The in, oh, in the rock. Yeah. Oh. But you have to have a car to get there. Yes. yes it's How did you go in there? By taxi? Or uh, what? No, no, I have a car. Okay. Oh, you, you drove from Finland to here? No, no, I you rented a You rented a car, yes, okay. That is good. Yeah. So you can get all the small places. Mm. Oh, it's not that too. It's not that expensive when you're in the car. Uh, yeah, it costs like two to four hundred a week for a week. Yeah, Ooh. if you take small car, it's not so expensive. But if you take bigger one, uh, you, so. but you take smaller one, I guess. Yeah, it's 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 not that bad. Mm. But if you need a lot of time, it it will be expensive. Yes. Oh, yeah. Entrance with ticket only. Uh -huh. yes. 
Oh yeah, it's it's sticking only. Yes. So even when you if you want to view the whole of the city, you need a ticket as well, as well as the museums. But it is not the best moment for that, so we decided not to go because it is rainy, cloudy. And I guess we will not see anything from hope there. Love from Libya now. So from this direction, we are walking down to the park. The last place I will share with you in the city. The Tivoli Park. The central park of Ljubljana is a place for socializing and relaxing. It is just in front of me because of the rain. I decided to stay here because I cannot be able to walk and explore the park to share it with you more like the way I really want to do. It is not an easy day because it is raining and the weather is cloudy. That a hey, I cannot be able to give excuse. I still have to get the job done as possible as I can. So there is a lot of great things to see in the city and uh, visit. If you are also someone who likes to visit the museums, you can also visit the museums. It's interesting and uh, learn more. Continue learning more about this great city and country so if you like this video give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this video and this city as a whole if you have been here where are your favorite places in the city until then see you on the next one ciao i am joel tamara if you like my videos please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.